This episode of Scam School brought to you by Brain Tonic. Welcome to your source for sophisticated tomfoolery, Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back with another special edition Strength School episode. You may remember a few weeks ago, I went down to Houston to work with Mr. Dennis Rogers, a professional strongman who's so freakishly strong, he can bend iron bars with his hands, he can roll up a frying pan like it's a newspaper, and he's somebody who doesn't like it when fakers try to look like they're strong as he is. So he's agreed to show us the tricks of the trade used by scammers and this week we're gonna learn how the fakers steal leverage All right, guys, let's hear it from my friend Dennis Rogers. Yeah. All right, what do you got here? Right, What's going on? I have a 60 penny nail here. It's a six inch spike. May, may I? Yes. Six Takes maybe 250 to 350 pounds of pressure to bend a six inch nail. I just like to take it and, and wrap it up. And there's no switches or anything. I mean, as a magician, I'm able to, you know, right, I got right. the eagle eyes. Right, and I just hold it up here. Just bend it, just like that. Okay. I mean, you're not even breaking a sweat. It's like it's well, nothing. Well, it's kind of easy, <laughs> easy for me to do. So. Get out. That is freaking unreal. Uh, well, that's pretty easy for me. I do things a lot tougher than that. Okay. Uh, I have. How about a eight-inch crescent wrench? Okay. Uh, all, all right. right. Just like that. How about a hammer? Are you kidding me? Steel shaft hammer? You've got to be kidding me. All right. There you go. <laughs> Look at Man. Uh, okay, so seriously, is this the kind of thing that uh, you just have to be born with freaky muscles, or, or is well, it something you could train up to? You know, it certainly helps to be born strong, but I actually have students that I have trained. Um, my oldest student is 58. I never would have thought he could have done it, but he submitted to the training and he was able to do it. So what you're saying is, I could do it. I just need to train. Let's do this. Got it. I'm ready. I can do this. How's it going, dude? I'm Brian. What's your name? Nick. Nick, it's a pleasure. I want you to check out this nail. I want you to try to bend that thing. Does that thing bend at all? Does it collapse? Is it made of anything other than really freaking hard metal? Would you be freaking amazed if I was able to bend this? Right now in front of your eyes. We're, if we were at a bar and you were of age and you were drinking, would you buy me a drink? Yes, you would. Are you ready? It's going to blow your mind. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh my god. Yes! Oh man. Oh man. Yes! Oh, yes! There we go. Check that oh, out, dude. Man. 
Dang, going. All that right. Just happened. Yeah. Actually, this is something that Dennis taught me, uh, that you make gloves, they're not exactly what they seem to be. They actually have cheater pipes in them. You can yeah. actually see right here, by hooking those in, I'm able to make it a ridiculously wide nail that gives me an unfair amount of leverage. So let's talk about the importance of leverage when doing your strongman piece. Well, if you have a six inch nail, and you're trying to bend it, you don't have a lot of leverage to be able to do it. If you have something just a little longer, like let's say a half inch longer, an inch longer, it's gonna take considerably less strength to be able to bend it. If you take and, and look at the difference now, there's another cheater in one of the gloves. Yep. Not only did you have an extension on the nail, but also look at the way that this is a little angled down. So you're able to actually get an unfair. Exactly. You're already halfway bent you down. Got it. So you're pulling in. You got it. All the way better. And that was a lot of fun. Did. I. Uh, it was kind of neat. It was kind of cool, <laughs> actually looking strong for about 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got you got one more feat you want to show us sure. to take us out. Um, one of the uh, the famous old time feats is to take a nail and drive it through a board using a hammer, using, like in one hit. No, actually using my hand or my fist. Uh, I'll tell you what, once you have a seat right here, but I'm gonna grab the nail, real tight in my hand so it won't shift. Okay. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is drive it right, th you know what, let's move it right here. <laughs> That'd be good. No, okay, I'm just kidding. You're evil. Okay, okay keep here we going. Go. Here we go, but I'm gonna go through, on three, one. Oh, oh, I can't count, I can't count. So. That is, uh, that is like an inch and a half two inches of freaking wood that just went through. Uh, look, I can't thank Dennis Rogers enough for coming out and helping us with this episode of Strength School. If you wanna check out Dennis's stuff, he actually teaches people how to become as strong as possible. Check out his website. Now, someone like Dennis can develop your muscles, but if you wanna supercharge your mind, you need to check out our latest sponsor here at Scam School, Brain Tonic, the world's first think drink. Head on over to www.braintonic.com, that's T-O-N-I-Q.com to learn all about it. It's sweetened with agave nectar, there's no process sugars, no caffeine, and it tastes absolutely freaking great. And by the way, we have a special promo code. If you check out and use code R3, you'll get 10% off your order. If you have any stories of success or failure of your favorite scams, make sure to post them at the boards at revision3.com slash scam school. Any questions, write me directly at brian at revision3.com and stick around because in future episodes of Scam School, you're going to be learning a lot more about how to be a fake Dennis Rogers. We'll see you next time.